Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota. <laughs> Dear Paul, this job doesn't pay enough for me to buy you a gift. So I wrote you a poem in hopes it will give you a lift. As you toil at your desk, making budgets and plans, rest assured in the fact that this newsroom's your fan. Sure, one time you gave a speech and we all forgot to clap. But that doesn't mean we don't love you. No, Except it doesn't quiet. mean that. Huh? Clap for everybody else. <laughs> because we do love your meetings, your emails and notes. We love history, trivia, your feedback and jokes. I personally enjoy making you squirm. Like the time I put your tie on my head, raising calls for concern. I think it was that tie. <laughs> In all of McClatchy land, you are rose among thorns. And on this day, about five decades ago, a great boss and editor was born. What would we do in this office without your History Channel facts? How's a girl supposed to cover Winthrop without you having my back? Yes, all Herald editors are worthy and smart, but few are like you, Paul, and have a remarkable heart. Maybe I haven't worked here long enough to learn to hate my boss. <laughs> and sometimes I enjoy having a laugh at your cost. But you deserve at least one moment to be given some thanks and a round of applause for what you do every day. Aww. Aww.